be someone that I followed for a very long time. Night of the Demons is my favorite horror movie of all time. And um, oh my God, yeah, I'm so excited to be talking to her. And it's coming up next. Okay, here we go. Uh, everyone, welcome, welcome to Gru. And thank, thank you so much for, for coming on the show. Of course, for Gru, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anything <laughs> well I, I was i was looking i was looking stuff up on on you like you you wrote books and you made made songs right yeah i did i did both wow i liked doing the songs better than the books but <laughs> yeah it was like it was a lot more fun and creative the books were just like okay what happened i'm doing another book too that i was doing um that right during covid mm. like talking to a, a writer in um england so when covid's over hopefully that'll come out a tell-all oh wow okay nice. not that i have that much to tell all about <laughs> but you know there's some stuff <laughs> and and like what kind what kind of bands were you in were you the singer, the bass player, the lead guitarist? I, I played guitar, rhythm guitar, a little tiny bit of lead, and um, singer. Wow. Nice. Yeah. It was and, fun. It was really fun. Oh, yeah. And you went around. We had to a like, good time. You went around the bars and played, and played gigs and stuff, too? Yes, we did. And we, um, one time we were playing at Madame Wong's, which was in Chinatown in LA. And there's like all these stairs we have to go up with, like the amps were big then and really heavy. <laughs> and we, we knew five songs. So we played the five songs and Madame Wong, the lady is like, you play more, you play more. And we're like, that's all we have. You know, we're like, so we played them again and again and again. It was so funny. We're like replaying all these songs. Oh yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> and uh, it was really weird. We were like, oh, what do we do? Okay, play the set again, you know? Because she was mad. She was really bad. Oh no. <laughs> and back then, well, <laughs> Even now, it's hard to get gigs in clubs, and everybody mm -hmm. wanted to play Madame Wong, so we were, like, lucky to be able to do it, so we didn't want to blow it. Oh, okay. And Maybe you... nobody noticed. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know, if, if everyone at the bar was, was drunk, they probably thought they were hearing a different song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, we knew. We thought... Oh my God, we're so obvious. You know, it was obvious to us. And what was really weird too is the guys like wanted to help us up the stairs with our amps and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then when we like refused their advances, they didn't want to help us leave. So we had to like tear down and like go down those stairs again. It was like funny. Oh, no. I don't know how we did it. It was like crazy. <laughs> Three of us girls. Wow, that, that really is nuts. Uh, it was really crazy. And you also did, uh, you were in a music video for, for, Let, for, Let, for Lemmy and his gang in Mo, Motorhead, oh, right? <laughs> yes, I did Motorhead, I did a Ramones, and I did a Revolting Cox. Wow. Damn. So that was a lot of fun. How how were the shoots like for working with those like top top bands well they were good um the ramones were really nice you know down to earth guys and lemmy and um oh god phil and the i forget the drummer's name always <laughs> but they were really cool they were funny they cracked me up they they were that funny English guys. They were really nice. funny. Nice. I don't think, I think the drummer was from Sweden or something, but okay. um, they were really funny. And 
you know, it's like, I know Lemmy hung out at the rainbow and mm -hmm. he just wanted to be recognized and everything. Wow. But they were really nice. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, I wanted to, I mean, I, I know you've probably been asked these questions like a million times, you know, especially with like horror. Um, what, what did you like? Like, what was your most fun scene you you had playing trash and re return of the living dead? Oh boy. Probably well anything without the effects makeup. So <laughs> dancing fun. Uh when I'm sitting there with Miguel Spider, you know, saying I wanna you know, I'm fantasizing about dying. That was fun too because it was just so off the wall. And then, well, also the scene with um, suicide, because I didn't have to memorize that many lines, was fun. Where he's like, this ain't no costume, this is a way of life. He was so funny. And we just had a good time doing it. And also there was no rain. The rain was like horrible. It was so cold. I know, I bet because, I mean, especially for you because like, it's raining and you basically don't have any clothes on. So like that exactly. happens in crazy. Miserable. So anything without rain and anything without makeup was great. Okay. It was a lot of fun. Okay. And and like the dancing that you do as trash as trash, did you did you have to learn moves for that or was that all you? I just made it up. I didn't even know what I was going to be dancing to. And I just like made it up off the top of my head. You know, I just thought, I don't know. I do think the, do things off the cuff. I don't like re, you know, like totally rehearse them mm -hmm. to where it's like staged or like old. I like to do it like right when I'm doing it. Okay. Nice. nice. To me, that's the more realistic. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, and yes. um, my the horror film that's like my best horror film of all time is Night of the Demons. Like that is my absolute best, and oh. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to to ask like what what did you have more fun doing playing the wild girl or the, the demon? Oh. The wild girl. <laughs> Again, we are talking about makeup effects. But if I didn't have the makeup effects, it would have been fun to play the demon because I was just like sarcastic and and taunting everybody. So if I didn't have the makeup on, it would have been fun to be the. I liked it right before I got possessed. Okay, here you go. You know, with the lipstick and <laughs> and you know tell you know always saying is my makeup okay it was yeah, just yeah. such a weird thing to do but it was written really well yeah yeah that it definitely and, was and Kevin let us go with it you know just be crazy <laughs> so it was fun yeah the, I, I mean I mean those 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 scenes were wild when you know when you be, become the um the de the demon the, like when you're with the guy and you're like stop staring at me and your face yes. gets all evil looking and <laughs> so hopefully a lot of guys don't think that on their first date when they they score you know when they are scoring with somebody they don't think oh no how's my makeup <laughs> ah, no I, your makeup's fine don't look don't look back that would be awful that would scar somebody <laughs> that that definitely would yes yeah yeah <laughs> and uh one that you made that that pink that pink dress the pink pink tutu was it right like i guess it was i didn't know what it was i was like is this a baby doll dress or but they call it a ballerina ballerina and I'm like, dress oh, yeah okay i didn't even know that <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that till like the second one came out and, and my title was like ballerina girl or something. And I'm like, oh, I was a ballerina. Okay. I didn't know. 
Yeah, because that that scene like the where where you're in in the store and the store the store clerks are looking at you while uh 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 Melia Kincaid is is stealing everything and like yes. that that dress like that scene became big and you made that dress big and I think you even brought it back in the the re the re the reboot for Night of the Demons as well. Yes, they made a dress that was sort of like it, not exactly. I never got the dress. They promised me the dress. <laughs> but we do do photo ops in a dress like that. So yes. I feel like um, you've seen the movie Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like Baby Jane Hudson when I'm like wearing that dress. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, I feel so creepy. <laughs> like how what was your what death death scene did you like the most in in night of the demons oh let's see oh when i say run judy run see judy run <laughs> when i because i got to talk the director into getting out of makeup for that mm -hmm. i said oh it's gonna be really scary much more scary if I'm like without makeup and I say this yeah. because it's like, I can change back and forth, you know? And he's like, Oh, that's a great idea. So the next day I didn't have to get makeup again. So I was like, so happy. Oh man. that's So, awesome. and, and I said it with extra glee, you know, like, Oh yeah, I'm not in that makeup, which took hours and hours and hours. Wow. Wow. And how how was it like working with uh, Milia Ken K? Because I I know you're well not now with COVID, but I know you were doing horror cons with with her, and she had the black dress and you had the pink one. Yes, yes, I wanted her outfit. I liked hers better. <laughs> I was like kind of jealous because I like the more punk rock stuff, and I felt like a, a fool with the pink dress on so i was like i want your dress amelia you know because i thought she was cooler i'm going to take you with me while i let in a dog i have a okay. rescue okay and they're barking because of course right when we're like going to do this some men start working on the road in front so hopefully i won't lose you hold on I know all about dogs. Like my dog barks when I'm when I'm on like calls and stuff. Like I'll I'll be doing doing one of these Zoom calls and my dog will be going oh, crazy. Sure. <laughs> uh oh, stay! Ah, I gotta get the one because she no likes problem. to bark, fight, bark under the door. <laughs> Why well, have fifteen? Stay, stay, move on, move on, <laughs> move on, get. Okay. Woo. Barking, barking, barking. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. Like I said, my dog is the same the same way. I I got this tiny little little dog and Aww. his bark is like so loud. <laughs> they make so much noise. It's like I know whoa. exactly. I guess for 15, that's not bad noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then they can get in the doors. I don't know if yours can. Mine no, are like demons. They can go through doors. <laughs> My dog is too, is too small. He can't, he can't push open doors. <laughs> oh, nice. I have small ones, like six pound ones. And then yeah. I have like 80 pound ones. So oh, wow. Stop okay. it. That was a little one. Stop <laughs> it trashing. Gosh, get off there. Okay. Back again. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> and um <laughs> well there's there's this this B horror movie. Like when I when I tell people like I love this movie, they're looking at me saying, I never heard of it. And you you got a fast scene in it. Jack Jacko. <laughs> Like how? Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> I love that movie. Like, really? How, oh how my God! The set was funny. It was like it was 
the director's house. It was that low budget. Oh my and God, it was the you... director's son in it. He cast his son. And it's like, it was so funny because the son is very monotone in it. Mm -hmm. If you notice, he's <laughs> just kind of like, you know, doing his thing. Like <laughs> there's a big thing coming after him and he's just kind of like, oh, okay, you know. And um, I did behind the scenes footage on it, but it was funny oh, because uh, everybody was really nice. He hired his friends and um, it was, it was a good set. It was, it was in Florida and it was, you know, I'm like thinking it's going to be warm. I come from mm -hmm. California to Florida and they had to put heating pads on camera, on the film camera, because it was that cold. It got so cold. Oh, when we were wow. doing the outdoor stuff, like when mm -hmm. um, I'm running after the kid to try to save him, and it was freezing. It was funny. Oh, it's like damn. it's not usually this cold in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I that's for some reason like that movie. I I always liked liked it like from from when I was a kid till now and. It was, always oh, one of the, it was always one of those films I liked. <laughs> That's great because it was really low budget, but, yeah. you know, it's like they had a certain amount of money mm -hmm. and they, oh, it was really funny too, because when we did the film next door, they were doing Bible study and we oh had to God. use, and they were like thinking we were heathens or something, you know, with all this this demonic stuff it was funny <laughs> oh my god that's so funny <laughs> it was funny the bible belt we're like uh oh we're gonna be in trouble <laughs> nice nice <laughs> and uh, you were you were also a, a soul in freddy krueger's chess on elm street four like how was it like to film that like how do you even get to film like how how did that work like being a soul and <laughs> oh well my ex-husband was a special effects artist mm -hmm. and they knew my work and so they I, they I guess they got to talking and they said oh what about having Linnea in Freddie's chest and, I, and they're like oh that's a great idea so they had me inside Freddie's chest and we almost died because the whole thing fell over and almost hit the camera. It was like a huge accident on set, but we had to go back and do it again. I'm like, uh Oh, here we go again. Tempting fate again. Wow. wow. But it was, I like that one. The fourth one too. I like the first, the second and the fourth a lot. Yeah, the fourth the fourth one was was really good. I I oh, liked yeah. it. Yeah, it was it was it was really good. The fourth one. And my, oh yeah. Like my my favorites out of the series are actually three and four. Wait a minute, which one is who's in three? Three was like the um, the dream the dream warriors. The, um, uh, oh. Heather Heather Langenkamp was in that and. Um, Oh, what's her name? The the big the big time actress now. The oh, what's um, her name? Jennifer um, Rubin. No, the blonde. Uh, the blonde. Uh, oh my God! Why am I blanking uh, on her name? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> um, I know who you're talking about, but yes. Pa Patricia Arquette. That's right. Okay, I love that one too. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it mixed up. Maybe it's. Um, one, three, and four that are my favorites. Okay. I can't remember. I get one. I remember the first ones of everything. Yeah. And then most sequels aren't very good, <laughs> but with that, it was good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love Patricia Arquette. She is so good. Yeah, yeah. And I, I She's she's like one of them that like made made the movie and like won't talk about it. 
oh my gosh, that's a famous, you know, movie for I, horror. I know. She should talk about it. I know, right? Wow. <laughs> that, I don't like that. That's I, right. Yeah, kinda, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I mean, e even Johnny Depp, even like he actually talks about being on the first the first Elm Street. Like he's not ashamed of that, but I don't know for some reason. But she some is, people, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't be ashamed. I mean, that's how you started. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe some director saw you on it, and you know, it's kind of dumb to do that. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. Um, you're you're in a horror movie, Death Death Care, and you you work with like a lot of big name people in the horror world for that film including you <laughs> oh that's right that's right i mean i love to meet horror people because they usually are really genuine and and most of them do love what they do yeah you know i guess there's patricia arquette who doesn't <laughs> but uh most of them do. They're very, because it's a lot of work. And especially when you were doing it on film, it was a lot of work and dedication. And you were dealing with no money a lot of times or not a lot because it was a horror film. You know, now they're giving money to horror films. But back then, they, it was like, it was kind of like looked as, as a lesser degree of work you know, like the yeah, dramas for the main thing and then, you know, comedies, but, you know, you weren't given, like, much credence of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, because, like, horror films uh, draw a huge fan fan base, like, all the horror fans that come to these horror cons are very loyal, and horror has always, like, drew, like, such a big fan, fan mm -hmm. base, and that's why I don't I don't get why they they won't pay the they won't pay know. like good money for it, you know. I don't know either. Um and like this one I'm going to in Vegas, Richard Dreyfus is gonna be there. And you oh, yeah. never think in a million years Richard Dreyfus would be doing it. <laughs> and I saw Kathleen Turner at one. And I'm like, what horror film did she do? <laughs> I, I still don't understand. I'm trying to think which one she did that was like horror. Um, didn't wasn't she like that mom serial mom oh, or something? Mom. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so she did. Yes. I I totally forgot that one. But I'm thinking of like romancing the stone or whatever it was that she did um something heat okay. where she had she was like the first actress besides like lauren bacall or something with that really deep voice and exactly. you know it was, but i was like i'm really bad i was too scared to go up and say hi to her i'm like i can't go up i'm like i'm too nervous <laughs> now like what what would you do if 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 you had a death care nurse as one of your nurses, if you were in the, if you had to have a nurse that was a death care nurse. I don't think, I don't know. I would sneak <laughs> out of the hospital, I think. I would like put on a scrub outfit and hightail it out of there. Yeah, That's what same. I'd do. <laughs> same, yeah. I'll, I'll be like, oh my God. Yeah, that would not be good. That would not be good. <laughs> and, and how was how was working on a camp at twi twilight with felissa rose it was fun um i had my own trailer nice. and it was like it was it was really fun i liked the script a lot it was very i i, I actually i don't usually see the movies i do but i saw mm -hmm. it and it was really good i awesome. thought you know they you know, I'm sure it wasn't a lot of money that they did it for, but it was it was good for that. Oh yeah. They had all the different characters and the little twist and did you see it yet? No, no. 
I, I, I don't am, give it away. I am, I, I don't I am going to, though. Yeah, it's very good. It's really good. Nice. I liked it. Nice. And uh, an, another horror film that, that I that I liked, you, you were part of the horror film, The Barn. And uh, yes. Like that, that was that was a great horror movie. That when when I was going into watching it, I was like, oh, you know, it's it's probably a low a low budget horror film, and you know, I'll give it a chance. And and it was shot like really well and made made really well. Well, you know, they did the barn too, right? I know. I saw that. Like I, I was, yeah, yeah. I'm in it a lot more, a lot more. Nice. And and they did a great job that Justin, the director and writer, is a really good guy. So I'm so glad it turned out so good. Nice. And you enjoyed it. I'm so glad. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you could talk about the barn to? I just did allowed? one that is on. Um... Oh. Well, Lloyd Kaufman's in it, Ari Lehman, the first Jason. Uh, well, Mrs. Barnhart has had enough of their nonsense and she <laughs> takes matters into her own hands in some parts. Okay. So that's what I can say. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Would it what did you like most about about being on set and filming filming the barn? Oh, you mean the second one or the first? Oh, uh, the first, the first one, because I know you really can't say much about the second. Oh, I liked I liked it because it was it was really fun to play like a real like person that hates Halloween because it's <laughs> like not like me at all. And it was, it was fun because it's like, if you watch the take, they kept the take where I like scream and I throw the pumpkin up and it actually, I threw it up and it comes down and hits me on the head oh. and it was really funny. It was just like an accident and it just went boom off my head. So if you do it in slow-mo, you'll see the, the pumpkin hitting my head and flying <laughs> off. Oh so it was like. And then in the barn too, I um I like have to go up these stairs and exit the store. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody told me when you exit the door, it's a drop off. Oh no. I mean a really long drop off. Oh so no. So I like go up, I go through the door and it was dark, and I'm like, I thank God saved myself by hanging onto the door and the door is swinging back and forth. And I'm like, hanging on the doorknob. It, it would have been a bad fall. <laughs> that definitely would have been a bad fall. I hope they keep it. They were filming. So hopefully it'll be in the bloopers. <laughs> I was like, Oh man, thank God I held on to this doorknob. <laughs> um, that, that, that wouldn't have been fun. That wouldn't like no. Go that on. would have been really bad. Oh. That would have been really bad. <laughs> but nobody told me. You know, I guess they thought I knew that it was like a, a false front. Oh, but no. you know, you're in a scene and you're like, oh, I'm going through here and woo. You know, it was funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And. <laughs> I, I I don't know if this film is out yet or not. Uh, I I was I was looking up the film. It it it's it seems seems it seems good. It's death death drop death drop death drop gorgeous. And um, it is, well, it's not out on DVD. Okay, okay. So basically, it's like a film where the killer goes after like young gay men and drains their blood. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> right. They, I was like surprised. They sent me a like a a link to watch it, and it's really good. Oh. You know, I didn't know what to think because when I filmed my thing, I was in Salem, Mass, mm -hmm. and they shot me, you know, for a couple hours doing something, and I thought, well, I'm not gonna think it's that great, you know. I, you know, it's like 
small camera and and everything but then i saw it and it's like they did an amazing job oh wow they're working on something else now and uh i wish i could do it but with covid you know oh okay can't do too much i did a few films last year mm -hmm. and one of them is on google play which is it turned out really good from asylum which did sharknado it's called oh, yeah. triassic hunt oh okay and it yeah. turned out really good sweet nice i didn't know what to think i'm like well dinosaurs they're gonna have these really hokey dinosaurs but the dinosaurs looked great Oh, I'm really? a sucker for dinosaur movies. I love dinosaur movies. Yeah, the wow. dinosaurs looked amazing. Wow, okay. So they they must have hired someone good to like make 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 them look real, the special effects oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah, I don't know what they did, but they they did a good job. If you go on YouTube, the trailer's on there. Okay. Oh man. So you yeah. can get like kind of a feel for what it's like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I definitely. But I got definitely to play a watch. bitch in that. That was fun. Oh, get out! Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Nice, nice. Now, that's that's not out yet either, right? No, that's out now on, oh, oh, okay. on Google that's Play, out now. on Google okay. Play or YouTube or um, like it's gonna go on Amazon, but not yet. They're not gonna. A lot of companies aren't releasing physical copies anymore, which is really a shame because I'm into physical copies of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not into mm -hmm. like a link or a, exactly. a, you know, so it's kind of like a drag, but maybe they'll change their minds if most people complain or something. Yeah, true, true. You never know. Damn, okay. Yeah. yeah. I definitely have to watch that one because it, it's it sounds good it really is it really is and michael Pare is in it oh nice okay okay sweet yeah nice. and how how was it like playing a wolf in bone bone hill road oh that was fun i had a <laughs> good time doing that i was that was my first time working with todd sheets and i really enjoyed the experience he's a really good director and knows how to work with the actors you know there's the directors that are more actors actor friendly and then there's the ones that aren't mm -hmm. you know that are more like just about the film and they don't know how to talk to actors but he he makes everybody kind of work as a group or not makes them but he he makes it so that everybody's like a equal working together it was really fun nice nice well you you play you play everything like a, a demon zombie uh, a werewolf I, I i think you even played a witch at one time too and uh yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like yeah, you, there's something that <laughs> yeah something that's going to be out that i did oh my god i think Let's see, 20, 30 years ago, they're going to finally release it. Finally oh. get it done. Talk about procrastinating, huh? <laughs> Waited 30 years to get something out. It's crazy. Which, which film is that? Um, I don't know what they renamed it. Um, I'm trying to think what they renamed it. Because it's been under so many different names when they were doing uh, producing it. Um, uh, which something? Oh my God, what was it? I don't remember. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and, and my then, brain cells aren't dying. It's just there's so many movies I can't remember the names of them. Oh no, I I've, I've looked up your films and you've been in like so many horror films, like. Yes. Like, Luckily, like, yes. From the eighties up until now, like you've been you've been in like tons and tons and tons of horror films. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I like horror. I think I do. Oh no, I've never done a horror film. Oh I'll be I'll be um Patricia Arquette. No, I haven't done that. 
<laughs> and you also worked like I'll probably say his last name wrong. David De Dakota. Dakota. De Co De Co okay. I've done a ton of films for him, and you know yeah. what he's doing now? No. He's doing Lifetime Hallmark movies. After all those horror films that he did? Yeah, can you believe it? Wow. But it's like if I went to go do one, they'd say, oh my God, you're like, you're rotten. You can't be in our film because we're all about goodness. And, mm -hmm. you know, but then they get him and he's done like all this nudity and. Yeah, and I was just going to say that. Like violence. And <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. He and Little Ray are both doing these Lifetime movies. Insane. <laughs> it's really weird. It's really weird. Yeah, because if if you watch one of his films, it's basically a a hot guy with no shirt on. Yes. Sometimes showing the butt shots, and that's basically his whole movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. You're right. So yes. And he would always go, "Oh, women like to see men in their tidy white." <laughs> I'm like, no, it's men like what are you guys doing? Fighting again? <laughs> oh. Well, okay, so I guess life lifetime never watched one of his films. <laughs> oh, I think your thing for no, you? I don't think okay. it's like What's the weather like there in Philly right now? Right, right now it's actually pretty warm. Cause you had snow, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we ha we got wow, we you got just killed had with snow, snow too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's we the got, weather's weird. It's like it possessed. Is. It is. <laughs> it's snow, ice storms. Yeah. You know, and then like, oh, it's warm now. Now, now it's warm. Yeah, like. It, for like two yep. weeks straight, we were hit with ice and snow, and now it's warm and everything is melted. And <laughs> I, um, like, I wanted to ask you, oh, like, yeah, <laughs> how, how do you feel about the term being called a screen queen? I think it's great, I like it. Um, it's better than being called other things, right. <laughs> No, it's a great, it's an endearing title. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and I, I heard you're di directing a horror film now. Yes, I, right now I just got the hard drive for it. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Zombie Games. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was done. I directed it. I was in it and produced it. Oh, wow. It was like, it's a UK production because I have my own channel um, on YouTube. But this one is like an episodic, like eight episodes. And it was so much work. Oh, my God. It was a lot of work. Wow. But we did it. Okay, nice. Now, this is, this is like the, the... And Donna Wilkes is in it. Donna Wilkes from Jaws 2. Yeah, really? Oh, wow. No. Yeah, and she played Angel. I don't know if you remember the movie Angel, oh. but it, it was like a, a, like a cult favorite. Oh, okay. Huh. I, I definitely have to check it out. Uh, like, it, this, is, this is the first time you ever directed, right? Yes. Okay. And I loved it. It was really fun. I like doing it. It's always fun to do stuff you haven't done before. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, okay, I've done the acting thing. And then, okay, I've done the music thing. Yep. So now I'm doing a directing thing. So that's cool. <laughs> and um, you, you also did work with the Charles Band and the full and full moon, right? Yes, I did. I did. My first job was with Charlie Band. My first real job kind of, was on fairy tales, like when I was like 
I think I was like 17 or 18. Oh, wow. Really? And I got to work with him before he was full moon or anything, he, before he was a company. Wow. So it was kind of fun to like years, years later work with them again. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, is there anything you could say about, I, I see you're in Tunes 4. Like, is there anything you could say about that? It's a really interesting film, and I actually am going to be filming some more in, I think it's April. Okay. Just to, just as like a little added bonus or something. But nice. I play, I play a agent who's kind of like mm -hmm. on the, on the prowl a little bit. Okay. So it was fun. And I got to work with Brink. It's her first real directing thing. So oh, wow, nice. That'll, that, that was fun. That was fun. I don't know if she's going to be directing this new stuff or if it's Joe Castro. Okay. Wow. Yeah, she's she's. And I have a film who... coming out this year that Joe Castro is actually acting in. Really? Called Appetite for Sin. Oh, nice. Okay. A vampire film, so oh, wow. that ought to be interesting. Awesome. Nice, yeah. nice. Damn, yeah, definitely want to see that one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, Maybe you'll like it as as much as Jacko. I don't know. <laughs> Jacko is your favorite. I know. Well, that like that's one of mine. Like my favorite is actually Night. Of the de the demons, like look, I, I don't okay. like no other no horror movie would top that for me. Uh, for some reason, like I I could watch that movie like every week. <laughs> oh wow, that's yeah. a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I have to when I talk to I haven't talked to the director forever, but I have to tell him that you're a big fan of Jacko. He'll like that <laughs> definitely. <yeah. laughs> Uh, what do you like to do for fun when when you're not not acting? Oh God, um, I like I like doing stuff like shopping. I love <laughs> shopping, going to oh. stores, thrift store shopping especially. Nice. Uh, I like to um, swim and except in the ocean because I saw Jaws. I I'm a little bit fearful, but. Lakes and pools are okay, unless the lake is in Florida, and then there's alligators. That's true. Uh, I, I, I like to go to dinners and just normal stuff. Nice. No base jumping or, um, you know, I don't like to smoke crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's that's good. That's why. That's why. You stay young and healthy. And I have my teeth, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got your teeth. Really? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that one. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, is there any television shows you're currently binge watching? Oh, I'm I am watching Shit's Creek. Nice, nice. I have I I never sit down, especially with all these animals, and mm -hmm. watch TV. But somebody I, I kept hearing Shit's Creek, Shit's Creek, and I love Catherine O'Hara. Okay. So I started watching it and Basket on Hulu. Nice. So I've been watching those two a lot. Otherwise, it's just true crime. I love true crime. Oh, I know. I know. Those things are great. Yeah. I love that stuff. I like that. I just like... saw the Night Stalker on, um, who actually hit a house in North Hollywood when I lived there. Really? And that is scary stuff. Whoa. Damn. Yeah, those, those, those things are, are great, are great to watch, like true crimes. And I even like these, like, ghost shows, too, like, ghost hunters and all that <laughs> yeah 
those are fun. Those are really fun. <laughs> I just did on my channel, I did the um, intros and outros for a show called Paranormal Truth, oh, which nice. is a really good, like, examining the different, um, you know, myths and stuff. Are there vampires, mm -hmm. ghosts, you know, all that stuff. That was fun. Awesome. And um, you you do a lot of work with with Pete. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Now now do you I do do you work do you help them like work for them or? Oh no, I don't work for them. I I've, I've just done certain things for them like. Mm -hmm when they have campaigns like fur is dead or um, go vegetarian, you know, I'd rather go naked than, you know, you know, I've done like photos and like events and things like that. Okay. Ooh. And like, you know, contributed to their cookbooks or, you know, whatever I can do. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And look, what what kind like what's on your play your playlist now? Like what kind of, of music are you currently listening to? Oh wow. Um I still listen to a lot of eighties. Oh I actually eighties, yeah. I I still go to that because I was listening to the newer stuff and it was like all oh, like computer generated stuff and i was yeah. like that's not art i'm sorry. I, to me that's not art but <laughs> you know i'm not really into the big names that are like out there that sound like I'm a, oh, 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 oh. you know it's like oh god it's like weird stuff yeah exactly you're right you know and they're choking it's like you know, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that now you you've been in so many horror films. Um, what are like what horror? What are you like some of your top horror films that you you love to watch? Like a horror horror films that you could watch like over and over. Oh boy. That's a good, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nice. Jaws, even though it's, people don't really consider it a horror film, but I oh, think it, definitely it is. is. It changed my life. Yeah. yeah. Jaws, um, let's see. I like the, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. And let's see, what's another horror film that I really like? God, I'm going blank on horror films. There's so many. <laughs> I know there's, there's I like tons. um I like Sleepy Hollow. That's yes. good too. Yes, yeah. So those are my top ones. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is like number one, I think. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. I like that one. It scared me when it was at the drive in when I was little. Oh wow. I was like, whoa, this is a true event. Oh my God. <laughs> is there uh what's what's coming out next for you is there any any films you want to plug or well um i'm trying to think buzz cut which i did in new zealand okay uh last march i came home right before the i came home february 2nd right before the pandemic that's coming out and it's a fun horror comedy that's really good and um classic hunt which just came out and appetite for sin zombie games of course mm -hmm. and i'll be doing a lot of shows i don't know there's there's talk i just got a script of this really cool animal liberation type of script oh nice and it's a horror film and it 
I'm hoping that goes this year. Okay. Hopefully COVID will be done with. I know, I know, right? I know. This is yes, horrible. I'm so everybody is. And I I miss going to like horror horror cons and stuff because the horror cons they usually have around Philadelphia and and new oh, yeah. Jersey and like all of them are like done for now. Like they, they aren't doing nothing. I know it. I know it, but I think they're coming back. I think they're going to be happening now soon. Good, good. Yeah, I miss yeah. that. I, I love going. Oh, it's going terrible. To I mean, you miss your horror family. It's yes. horrible. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and um, where can fans find you at? Like, what's your like websites and social and all that? Oh, okay. If you go to Linnea. Linnea-Quigley.com. Everything's on there. The rescue's on there. My Facebook's on there. Everything is on there. If somebody wants to hire me, it's on there. Through Judy Fox. Um, everything's on there. Nice. If they go there. Nice. All if right. they want a cameo shout out, whatever. It's oh, that's all there. right. That's right. You're on, you're on that too, right? Cameo, yes. yeah. That's right, yeah. Yes, it's on there. Nice, nice. So uh, if you want to donate to the rescue, if you want to um, have me on Cameo, if you just want to say hi, the Instagram's there, the Facebook's there. So everything all in one, <laughs> all inclusive place to go. <laughs> we, that's, that's, that's great. All people have to do is just go to one place and they get all your pages. Yeah, and it's better than Walmart. So, Superstore, the Walmart Superstore. <laughs> Don't be seen in one. <laughs> do Instacart. If, you wanna, if you're going to like buy from them, don't go in this store because you <laughs> might be on the people of Walmart yeah, site. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll never live it down you'll never live it down uh, well thank you so much for for coming on on the show today like it was so much fun so much fun talking to you you're really funny it was oh well thank you you are too i love <laughs> thank it thank, thank you for having me definitely and you know Stay out of dark places at dark times and be careful. Okay. I promise. <laughs> and uh, Okay. And and you have to stay out of 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 hell of of whole of whole house. <laughs> yes, I'm not that man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you be good. Okay, you too. And nice I've been... talking to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's so much fun. Thank you. Okay, bye. I'll see you in Philly. Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>